Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Easter. Well, got a couple people here. We'll wait for a little bit more to uh, kind of show up here. Hope everyone's having a good Easter so far. So, as the title says, I'd like to welcome you uh, all to a new build. Um, Gail's Mobile is in shambles, unfortunately. Um, had a little instant. Um, I went to kind of do final assembly, getting the body put on the chassis and everything, and pushed on the hitch of the frame and broke that off. Kind of shot it across the room. Um, I set the frame down kind of close to the edge of my table, spun my chair around to go find the parts, and knocked my frame onto the floor. So I got it fixed, I've got to repaint it, and stuff like that. It really kind of sucks, but I've got like a week to get it done for GSL. I am really, really having issues with it. But that's alright. So. Today's episode probably going to be a little bit of a talky episode. Um, let's get this out of the way. And let's bring out my OBS again. Oh, that's the wrong one I want. That's better. So, you guys all picked in the last live stream um, the Vicky. And that's what we're going to talk about. Every single one of my builds starts right here with a little black book. Um, in my process uh, before I even start a build part time, welcome to the stream. Um, before I even start building, um, I jot down every information, what's going to get painted, how it's going to get done, everything like that, and that's what I kind of want to talk to you guys about. Um, you'll understand why I'm calling this build Copperhead, um, in a little bit once we start explaining the paint and everything that's going into this. Um. So, before I start a build, let's start right there. Um, first question, what's this going to be? Um, meaning as, is this going to be something I sit on the shelf? Is this going to be something that goes to a show? Um, is this going to be for a buddy or whatever? That will kind of start you in the right process. Grant, you shut your mouth for a minute. Because you did get a sneak peek of it last night from Ace. And Ace helped me out a lot. Um, but once you decide that. So this build is going to be the last GSL build. Um, one of the builds that will be going to that GSL. So it's going to be a full on custom. Um, and that's the way I want it. I want this build to kind of sit on the table and not really draw your attention to it. I want it to be subtle. Um, but it's going to be the little tiny things that are going to bring you back to this. That the name's going to ring a bell when you actually see the build. Um, I want this build to be talked about, you know, throughout the show. I want this build to be known. So that's kind of where I'm starting with this build. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of number two. Um, where do you want to go with this build? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it is kind of going to be a really in-depth build. Um, 
there's going to be a lot of different paints that we'll go over a lot of different sheens a lot of different colors well not a lot of different colors there's three major colors um grant he's got a sneak preview he kind of understands why it's going to be called copperhead um so the end result then you know number three um the end result that's kind of what i want it to be just kind of a, a showstopper but not really really noticeable full throttle welcome buddy to uh, another wonderful live stream and uh that's what where we're going with this so now we're going to get into the build and what the plans are for the build um <clears throat> So we kind of start what what's the end result, what it's going to be, where it's going to go, everything like that. So now I kind of start thinking, excuse me guys, um, what parts am I going to use? So 32 Vicky body, we're going to still use the spare tire on it, um, full custom frame, the wheels and tires, as shown before. If you've seen my Instagram pictures, there's the wheels and tires. There's some nice spokes. Um, that's going to be the wheels and tires. As for paint on this, um, <clears throat> let's start there with the body. It's going to be black, um, but it's not going to be any ordinary black. There's going to be some copper in it. There's going to be some silver metallic into it i don't have the color my buddy ace he's going to be coming up with the color for me so that's going to be pretty awesome i'm super super excited for this color um gloss black so <clears throat> right here first one so the body the engine the rear end are all going to be this body color so we're going to have those kind of uh paint match um Motor-wise, um, if you guys get a second, go uh, Google Nielsen Racing Motors. Um, we're going to kind of build one of their motors, slightly. Um, it's part of their kit. So here in my hand, let's see if my light will drown this out or not, is a 392 um hemi motor why are my lights being so retarded with twin turbo mirror twin turbo um with intercooler that sits like this so gonna be really kind of cool my light is making that horrible so let's flip that off and we'll flip on another light you guys can kind of see this motor a little better um paint on this motor we talked about the engine block going gloss black this is where copperhead is going to come into hand um so the heads and the intake and the cold side of the turbos are going to be copper but the intake we're going to take maybe a couple drops of black and a couple drops of silver to change that color of copper just a little tiny bit um the heads will keep you know maybe like two drops of black into the copper color just to kind of antique it just a little tiny bit um <clears throat> excuse me transmission on this um we're gonna go with about the same color as exhaust manifolds on this so the hot side of these turbos, we're going to do a satin black. The exhaust is going to run um, the lake style headers, so running down the side of the body. Meaning, so we're going to have a satin black exhaust running next to a gloss black body. Same with the transmission, that will go that color. So we're kind of pulling colors from different parts of the body to kind of blend everything together on this thing. Um, so if you guys want to kind of see what this thing is going to be kind of wild um, 
<clears throat> cerebrals are going to stick outside about the same it's about the same width as what the body is so we'll have front tires just out past the front grill independent front suspension um, we're going to do a brushed aluminum frame on this so it'll be a full frame build here um, independent front suspension and we have a narrowed Ford nine inch rear end with disc brakes um, beautifully built um, 3d printed again and we're just going to lengthen this so it actually fits outside the body width um, so let's see do, do, do. Uh, wheels and tires well the wheels so <clears throat> the inner part of the wheel we will pull from the transmission and the turbos and we'll do that same black ring spokes will keep silver we're gonna make a really kind of cool copper um, cap for the middle of these rather I find one or something like that white wall tires second here guys good grief come on oh, Midwest welcome buddy glad to see you popping in here so this is where I start with every single one of my builds um, little black book dozer Glad to see you come around. I know on uh, the bug video you asked about the wheel, the uh, wheels and tires that were on the bug. I really couldn't tell you where they came from. Um, I found a set of the rims that were on there and had my buddy um, cast them for me because I only had a set of two. And I wanted a set of four for the wheels on the bug. So... I couldn't tell you what they actually came off. The tires came off a vintage kit that was a uh, Hilux, I believe. Could have been a Nissan that was, it's a vintage kit. <clears throat> and I found those. So, interior wise, um, if you guys remember on the bug, we had door panels and some seats that were all photo etched i just put in the order this morning for the the exact same seats and the exact same door panels surprisingly the width here is the same on the bug so the door panels are going to work wonderful <clears throat> you guys got any questions so far is everything clicking in your head um, we're going to add some more copper um, accessories like the grill will be copper we'll do door handles that are copper the trim around all the windows everything like that will go copper um, around the spare tire we'll do a metal ring and we'll make that look like copper to uh, kind of indicate you know where you pull the latch to get the spare tire out um, recess plate I gotta look in to see if anyone makes a photo etch grill because I've got something really trick for for that. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm doing like 10 different things at once. Sweet. Uh, any questions so far? I lost you. Are you all just confused <clears throat> on what's going on? And talking to my buddy Ace, there's a lot of other little details that we're going to do, um, like the blow off valves. We'll do like a nice silver cap 
on those just little tiny things to kind of make this thing pop kind of worry about the little details um, brake lines fuel lines stuff like that will bring that copper color into the fuel lines No questions, I guess you guys are all on the same page. I wonder why my light's being weird today. So, let me see if I can find some graph paper and we'll start laying out the frame design for this thing. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Sounds sweet so far. I'm working on the 325 window. Very nice, Dozer. That should look pretty good. Oh, let's see if I can find stuff here. So, if you guys haven't seen any of the videos on how I lay out my frames or anything like that, how I build my frames. Um, <clears throat> you'll uh, get a sneak preview here and now. So let's see if we can find a center point on this. So center. Center vehicle will make right there. No air ride suspension on this one. Um, we'll do a independent front suspension and a four link rear. <coughs> No air ride. I know it's sad. Let's see. This one, yeah. Can I do settings while it's being used? No. So first thing I did is I marked kind of the center of the car. So I can keep that consistent every single time. And then Try to keep this as close as I can. None of these cars are exactly the same. Let's restart that because I need to be back here more. So I have room for that front. So, remark the center. I'm just checking out both sides here and here to see if I'm as centered as I can. We're going to draw back of the car here. I'm going to turn this around so I can get the sides. Okay, so back of Willwell, front of Willwell, side, this 
straps to about there. All right. So we have front of the wheel well. And the back of the wheel well. The ruler's got crap on it. We'll reline this up. Looks like center of axle. We'll do center of axle here. So let's put this back. I did make it. All the way to the front of the car. Make sure. We have front nose. So that gives me the outline of the body, the back of the body. And now I've got the center line on where my axle sits. So now I know the motor is going to sit right against that firewall I'm actually going to bring it inside the cab um, taking up a little bit of the firewall so now we'll take this center line we'll run it through the car So I don't want to pull <coughs> Pull there. So now I know where I need to mark the transmission mount now I can take Sure we're still centered here. I'm going to mark the <clears throat> front of the engine block so I know where that's got to sit. And you can take it and put the hood back on for a minute. Making sure everything lines up again. It looks like I'm going to be off my paper with the front of the grill. <clears throat> That's all right. We can go like this. I don't know where my bigger graph paper is, so. What we'll do is we'll extend it. Little piece of tape. Okay. 
then we can find out where the front of my grill is going to sit. Because I do want to put a slight rake, so probably what I like there. So that's front of my grill. <clears throat> so how's everyone's Easter's going so far? Anyone have any fun plans for later today? So now we know where the motor's got to sit, where the rear end sits. This way. Where the back is. So that means now we know where our frame is going to start being built and laid out. Um, <clears throat> with this motor being back so far and trying to clear the exhaust and everything. We've got to build the back half first and get that ride height up to where we need so we can start building the arc, you know, that kind of bends up for the front suspension um, on a build like this. Right. Finished my first build at 20. Oh, Dozer's got a new video out, huh? Where's my little black book? Where did it go? There it is. Alright. We'll check out Dozer. John, welcome. Oh, my exhaust is falling off. All right. Good old silly putty. So, <clears throat> we can talk. frame material this will be kind of your next step do you want to build a tube frame do you want to build a box frame do you want to mix the two um munchkin welcome for me If I can find it, I want to go with tube frame, or not tube frame, square frame. I've got tons of that, so do I. That's not the right one. Two, two, two. Square. There it is. So we'll probably mix those two. What is that? Oh, my little tiny rock. Ah. You can't ever seem to have enough of this stuff. <sighs> Of 
frame. Frame materials. <clears throat> Two different size rods. They're the same height. So kind of like I did on the Mustang build, where this was the outside part of my frame. And this was kind of my inner material for what I want to build. So, first thing, since this body isn't perfectly straight because we've got to bend it and it's got to keep that shape and my goal is I don't want to see this frame um, I want to keep it inside the body just underneath the bottom so if I can get it there Use a couple of clamps. It's going to be kind of an interesting frame because even here, the bottom part of this frame, it's not flat. It kind of arches in different directions. So it's kind of a unique body for making a, a frame for. But I think if we do it just right, it'll be a one-off, kind of really cool looking frame when we're done. I'm just trying to keep this all straight. And hidden. Oh, let's see, got tons done. Oh, John, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Sorry for the passing of your father. John, why are you building? You should be mourning your father. So there is one side. And I think, thank God, you got the hobby to keep you busy. All right. I'm going to grab my hair dryer, heat this up, and see if I can get this to stay where I want it to.
that's got to be a hard thing for you, John, to lose your, your father. Can't be easy. I have to cycle this a couple times. I'm sorry to hear that. I used to talk to him every day. One thing I've been fortunate about, I haven't had to lose a family member or anything like that yet. Um, I can only imagine um, what it's like, what you're going through. Um, Due to the fact that I've lost animals, you know, in the past and stuff like that, um, it's it's got to be rough for you guys. John, my my heart truly goes out to you and your family. Um, Let's get this other frame rail stuck in here. Lost my mom almost nine years to a hit and run. Whew. I can't imagine what you guys are going through. One more clamp. So, you can see I've just got that frame rail clamped on the inside of the body. Um, just when I heat it up, it will kind of stick to that, that shape. Kind of an easy way of uh, getting something done. Oh, come here. We'll eat this up again. This is what it's like to build a custom frame. It's just slow work. <clears throat> Especially on something like this where I want to take my uh, kind of precious time. Rick! How's things going over there for you? You got power back yet? John, send me some pictures of it through Facebook then. I'd love to see your frame. Oh, Alright, that's getting a little bit warm. <clears throat> Mm. 
<sighs> had power for about 10 minutes after we made that video that's been out for about five hours good grief almost sounds like you're having a tornado or something there i know my father is in new orleans right now and they had uh send everyone home friday with possibly hurricanes and crap like that in new orleans so Rick, I'm not quite sure where you're at, but sounds like somebody needs to fix the power lines over there for you. At least it's not the middle of winter and this is happening. Could be worse. Well, it sounds like most of us aren't having the best Easter. I know my buddy Ace yesterday, he had a hard time with his car. I had a hard time with the Oldsmobile. We posted a video on it. Alright, John. Uh, video number two to watch today is John's. John's caddy. Okay. After the live stream, I guess I get some videos to watch. Jeff, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For you latecomers, you might want to rewatch this live stream. There's some pretty uh, juicy information there that uh, you'll kind of want to know what's going on with the Vicky <clears throat> and why it's called Copperhead. All that fun stuff in my little black book. Not that little black book. You sons of... Get your mind out of the gutter. Alright, there it is guys. All done. Full custom friend. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> I think for now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hack these a little long. Spring. I really want to heat this up a couple more times to make sure it sticks close to that frame or that body. I don't want it to move. So if you guys are bored and you want to watch uh, something kind of interesting and a guy that's kind of uh, interesting, um, go watch Diecast Resurrection. He's kind of a highly entertaining guy. He builds um, Hot Wheels, Redline Hot Wheels. And he's really kind of entertaining and funny. You watch him? So you know who I'm talking about. He's pretty good, yeah. I, I'm nowhere affiliated with him or chat with him or anything else, but he's just kind of entertaining to watch. I usually watch him at lunch or something. <clears throat> he is funny. I just don't have that kind of character. Alright, let's see what happens if I remove these two clips. And I did not heat it up enough. <laughs> so back in the clamps you go.
Uh, Marty's Matchbox Makeover. I have not. Uh, I'm gonna have to go look him up. Some of the Hot Wheels guys are pretty, pretty entertaining. Let's put this in there. What we'll do. We'll just set that off to the side. We got a ton of old Hot Wheels. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So that sits just inside the body. Big ass turbos. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I mean the Hot Wheels community. It's it's crazy. It's mind blowing. If that grill is there in front of the motor, oh yeah, he's on the scene. This one. What I can do now, I will wait for that to sit in my bake oven. up one mark uh oh <laughs> I always mash my hot wheels I think I want the grill and the front tires to be the same. So, no! You two Tony. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, that'd be surprising. <laughs> so where's my marker? I think we'll put the center where the wheels. Right there, right in front of the turbo. Center there. Right. That means the grill is just barely in front of the tires. I like that. So I'm gonna add a bunch of matchbox cars. 
<laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. <clears throat> that means we're moving the transmission up one square. That means that goes right there. That puts the center of turbos at the center of my wheels. I'll give you charity or a few too, but I was too old for him. Probably gonna have to heat that up three or four times. <sighs> Firecracker survivor. Please check it out. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, Rick. I gotta watch this video. You guys are horrible, but I love it. <sighs> Firecracker Survivor. You know, I've always wanted to do that to one of my models. Then again, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's what my mom figured. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this is why live so freaking entertaining because of you guys. I start on Matchbox. Rick blows him up on his channel. That means... Front tire, rear tire. Ford 9 inch. But only one survived, jeez. Can anyone guess what way my table leans? <laughs> Does it lean this way too? Let's find out. Nope. Doesn't lean that way. Yay. Ah, you didn't blow up on your channel, you just showed it. Um, J 
John, you got your Cadillac by you? And one of these? Uh, give me a measurement in whatever millimeters what the inside of that body is of that Cadillac because this thing's going to be pretty wide just to clear these front turbos and I want the rear tires to match the front so I just don't want this thing to be wider than that uh, Cadillac. I mean, I don't think I'm too worried because the 32s and stuff, they were pretty skinny compared to the widths of a Cadillac. I've got a body, I just don't know where the heck it is. It'll probably take me an hour to find it. <laughs> oh, let's see, it's right here. Let's find out. Just curious, after John gets me that measurement. Well, the body itself for this car is as big as the Cadillac hood. I bet I'm semi-close to the width of a, a Cadillac. Six point oh, I left mine on. My battery's dead. <clears throat> Let's write that down so when I do go get a battery. Um, 26.48 millimeters. Okay. Um, do do do. Not all my models made it past the Fourth of July. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Germany, huh? Those are some old models. <clears throat> I'll be safe in the whelm. Yeah, it does help me because this is the hood off that exact same Cadillac. And the body is a little under the width of the hood of the Cadillac. So I'll know I'll be a little bit smaller than a big ass Cadillac <laughs> in width this way. Well, it is about that time anyways for everyone to get out of here and go spend Easter with your family. Ugh. 
Uh, safe ride. Enjoy. But, I think it's that time for all of us. Um, I think we're going to end it here. Everyone can go uh, enjoy. Hold on. Go spend time with the family. Happy Easter to everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, guys. We're out of here. Yeah, I'll go check out your guys' videos. Give me something to do after this. Um, hopefully next live stream right before GSL will be... Uh, the last of the Oldsmobile, and then we can concentrate on Copperhead. So, later, everybody. Happy Easter. We'll talk to you later.